You're watching Let's Chat. Every Monday, we like to check in with our friend Coach Maurice Saliba with My Best Me. Today is no exception. Coach Maurice, good morning. Good morning to you, sir. Good Got to hear from you. Several things here to cover. This time of year, people are constantly or seemingly constantly dealing with either stomach issues, a stomach bug, or the good old-fashioned flu. But you still need to maintain your intake of calories and everything like that to make sure that your body can fight this off. What are the best things to eat under that particular situation? Well, the first thing, Chip, is fluid is the most important thing. Don't worry as much about the solid food as it is the fluid. And the fluid must contain three ingredients. You need sugar, water, and salt. And so that's very, very important at a time. Now, we'll talk here in a second about how you can do that. You can purchase it or you can make it yourself. First of all, uh, there is, uh, you know, what we call the, the brat food or the bland food. Let's start with the bland food. You can eat those when you have diarrhea, things like low-fat dairy products, egg broth is good because it has sodium that would help regulate your blood pressure mm -hmm. and keep your energy level up. Those are only three of about 12 different food you can, you can eat when you have diarrhea. Now, you can always email me, and I'll be glad to email you back the list that I have in front of me. Also, the brat food. The brat food stands for, and it, it, the letters are B-R-A-T, and it stands for, um, <clears throat> I'm sorry, I just lost it for a second here. I got it here. But it's apple. Bananas, okay. uh, rice, absolutely. applesauce, and toast. And toast, absolutely. Thank you so much. I got too many paperwork. I'm flipping <laughs> through back and forth. The brat food is wonderful, and it's recommended for people with diarrhea. Now, you can eat some solid food, but you have to boil them, such as potatoes, oats, plain cereal with salt, and noodles. Those are great. You can eat those while you have diarrhea, and hopefully your stomach will hold them down. Now, you said plain uh, cereal with salt? Or with yeah, sugar. add salt to the cereal. Yeah, you need to add salt uh, with the cereal because that will help keep your blood pressure up a little bit. So that would help also with the diarrhea. And electrolytes, of course, you can always purchase your electrolytes, such as Gatorade or Powerade, mm -hmm. and drink it in moderation. Don't drink it too fast. And this will help with your energy level and maintaining your blood pressure. Here's what is important, though, Chip, is don't drink soda. Soda can make the diarrhea and the vomiting even worse than that. So avoid sodas. You can have Gatorade and mix it with water when you can. And last but not least, the oral rehydration solution. This is the solution that you can make yourself at home. All you need is to boil one liter of water, add a half a, or small, uh, add a half a small spoon of salt, right. and then six level small sugar. You know, level spoon sugar. So sugar, salt, and boiled water can also maintain that, keep that uh, the diarrhea to a minimum. What about tea? You hear a lot of folks saying that they, and they don't ever drink tea otherwise until they get in this situation. Good advice, bad advice, what's your take? Yeah, the two tea that got good grades for diarrhea and vomiting is ginger and peppermint tea. Ginger and peppermint tea, you can drink that as well. That would help you tremendously. The biggest thing, Chip, is you got to reload on the prebiotics, especially if you've been taking antibiotics when you're sick. You really want to reload on the prebiotics. You can purchase those from Walmart, Walgreens, any of your pharmacy sections. That would go a long way and help you recoup quicker because we'll lose a lot of the good uh, uh, biotics, sure. the good bacteria in our stomach when we're sick, and you got to put those back in. So probiotics can go a long way after you've been sick. And the takeaway message from this is you heard uh, Coach Maurice say at the beginning of this interview, Stay hydrated because once you become Absolutely. dehydrated, your body is, it basically just starts shutting down on itself. Very dangerous situation. Coach Maurice, Absolutely. thank you, my friend. We'll see you back here next Monday. Get in touch thank with you, Coach sir. Maurice Saliba. He's only a mouse click away. Here's the website, bridge2healthandwellness.com, bridge2healthandwellness.com. Or you can link on to it through our page, which is My Best Me with two T's, my best me, chat with two T's.com. That's all the time we have for this Monday, March the 8th. We'll see you back here today at noon and make sure and join us tomorrow morning right here starting at 10.